Okay, I think we're good. Yep. Awesome. So, um, welcome back to my uh, mansion. I'm recording on my phone still. Although I did move this map to my iPad. My iPad does not have what I would consider the storage that my phone does. A phone has 256 I gigs of um, memory. I don't know. That I can hold. And so I can actually do videos and have it saved so I can just like post it on YouTube. Um, however, what that means is that I spent a ton more time on my iPad here lately for this and I have previously on here which just goes to say that um, there's a lot of stuff that's been done since probably the last video which was like months ago and now but um, there's still an, enough where I could show you guys stuff on here sorry about my mind it's I <laughs> My job keeps me going pretty swiftly. I work um, 11 hours a day, which I know is like not much for someone who works more than that, but um, it's still quite a bit, so I just get tired, but I decided to record this anyways to show you guys a little bit more of the progress. I need to put things in like these rooms, but... These small little details, I think, help quite a bit. So you're probably going to hear me jump around quite a bit and uh, just come with new ideas. While well, we're having a ton of lag here, too. But, um, yeah, this is, this is what I got going on so far. Well, not so far. I have a lot more done already. But this is the last thing I had on the phone. I could transfer it back over to show that final project kind of just to switch over and back because I've actually figured out how to do that like this area here on my iPad completely done the basement I don't think the basement's done here but it's completely done so go downstairs thank you um so let's see I just I've forgotten oh I didn't even do it in here oh okay so this became a game room right here this is, like, full of all types of stuff. Let me, uh, take care of that real quick. Whoop. Awesome. Psh. Okay. I'm going to go in here. Nope. Oof. Nope. Okay, so, there's a ton of stuff that's not here for you guys. Which, I'll probably, um, have to switch over. The um, worlds again for my iPad. Oof. It doesn't matter. This world's obsolete now. This is just a show off world. I could seriously just blow up this one and be fine. Um. My goodness, the lag is just real today. Why? Stop. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully that's the end of that. Nope. Oh, maybe not. Let's see if I got, nope, at least this is cleared out, but I, that's not there anymore. I can't wait to show you guys the actual improvements I've made. What did I do on here since, did I just make the last video and leave? Like, sheesh, not much has been done in this world in a while. Let's see if the upstairs is finished or did I even do anything here? I'm pretty sure I just did, okay, okay, we're going to let. Whatever's going on in the game kind of just fizzle out. Holy moly. Please stop. Ah, I don't know why this is happening. but oof. Okay, so. Oh, okay. So I did get a little bit done here. So this is all the new stuff in here. This is. I mean, I finished more of that, but I forgot that I had that part done. Did I have my elevator up? Nope. Must have been where I stopped. So there's an elevator in here now. It goes all the way up there. This is done. There's a little ladder over there that will be there. 
and you see the next video I have a firework display on top of that building there's a, another big nice size building over there it's completed down there with floors and everything the lighting I know you might not be able to see everything but this is, this is kind of the look of what we're going at here right now these windows are put in place I can't believe there's no windows here still but yeah this is this is what we got going on so far I know it's just a very quick run through I felt like doing a video on it and I just haven't I'm not a big fan of this huge lag for whatever reason I don't recall this happening in the other games that I play. But yeah, this is what I got going on for me right now. Hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy seeing the next part that I come up with. I know I don't do any editing. That's just because uh, I just simply don't have enough editing software. And half the time I'm lazy. <laughs> And the other half, I'm just tired. So, you put them all together, it doesn't make for great production. But, this is what I do in my spare time. I try to make these nice little houses of what I can. Ah. I think it turned out real well. Just seeing this part, at least. So, like, this part, I think this is the only part in the house that's on the other... Um one the other uh, on my iPad that it hasn't been done yet because I'm not sure what I want to do with this area because I because you had, you had this nice little portion up here what I thought about doing is having it as you like actually as a um, room where you can look over and out where you can actually look out like this across the landscape because I thought that'd be pretty neat but I was like mm, the staircase is there it's gonna be dead out in the middle of the room I mean, I could do it, but is it going to be really worth it? Should I just put an elevator in there? In there, goodness. Um, and then how much is that going to take? Because usually elevators here. Like, let me show you for example what I use. So I usually use this glass. Now I have a resource pack on that makes it look so much better. Ah, fine, that'll be our station here. So usually. This will be my little frame that I'll make right here. And then I'll have the two two sheesh, two doors. I'll go here, and I'll build it up like this. Since I'm just using this as a template now, not really much of a template, but just whatever. I'm using this as a stuffing at this point. Doesn't really matter. So I'll just show you like how I would construct my neat looking glass elevator here. Now obviously you're not gonna have all these cool mechanisms and all that junk because that's well, that's just how it is. You're not gonna have an actual like place to stand. But guess what? That's just how it is. So yeah. We're just going to fill in this box here. I didn't fill in the top because that's where we were going to go through. And the best thing that I did was make it where, yeah, yeah, I know you can see the bottom. Is that just the bottom or you can, is that the, oh yeah, there's that little gap. Yeah, there's this hi hidden compartment between the floors that like you can hide in if you have an issue. Which with this being my world and such, I don't really have a lot of people that want to play I just hide it I just hide it there just if I feel like it I guess oh my gosh so I'll do this and then you want to have these lights here because it kind of just you know something else that goodness don't know why it does this I'm so glad I moved over to my iPad too because this this is normal this is the normal crap that happens on the phone. So see, it would take up that much room. I don't think that's bad. I don't know if I want to keep the doors there. 
I might, I don't know. Because I'm trying to look at the upper area and how much room that will be containing. Because you see here, it's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to have five areas. And we have four. That means we're going to have this very tiny little area. One brick pathway here. The walk between um, the elevator and into the other portion of this, which I guess is still fine. Even if I make like a little balcony area and have it where you like, <laughs> sorry about my pronunciation, have like a walkway where it's like a two, like that, and then you'd have that and you walk up there. Obviously, those will be lower. I'm just showing for context. And then you'll have two blocks, which is significantly better in this situation. But I'm not sure. It seems like probably some unnecessary steps I'm trying to take, but it doesn't really matter. But um, with this part, you can choose whatever you want to fill it up. If you want to fill it up with that, that looks fine. But then what I like to do is that with these trap doors, replace that. And so let's say I want my uh, things to be right here. So this is going to be our floor, right? You just have these. Okay, and you're going to want to replace the corners. We're going to make this our next floor. So, oh, goodness. I forget that you can't press on those. So, if you can, it's not fun to press on. Shatter them. So, it kind of creates that base, like what you just had. down there then you'll build up with the glass glass goodness oh, oh, oh. I'm tired give me a break let's see one more row so this is actually the approximate size I used when I was making the um, elevator on the other side you want to make sure you keep the same area here block block you can leave this free exposed if you want. What I mean is like, you don't have to have like an extra layer. If you don't have an extra floor, you don't have to have an extra layer. So this is how I make my elevators, my glass elevators right here. Ah. Other than me just pressing on the wrong stuff all the time. You got that going on. And so that's that's my glass elevator. So that means the level of flooring right here would be well, there. You'd go in, you press on that, assuming you're not flying, and you go down, press that, and then you just use the elevator. And you go back in, okay, this one's fine. You fly, of course, you can have taller elevators and you can move up, close it, drop, now you're out. And I don't know if I have the doors out where I can change them. Yeah, it's just real quick. Why not? Again, it's not like I'm building anything on this world anymore. Well, this on here at least. Not on my phone. That would just all be for presentation and stuff like this. So that that's that's how I would make an elevator. It's out of glass. I think it looks pretty neat. And again, it's just my design. You could probably make, make pillars out of it if you'd want. Like, like so. It looked pretty neat, I think. But it's up to you. It's whatever designs you like. Make it your own. Eh. Don't play on a phone, that's for sure, because the lag is unbelievable. So, like, all this, I believe, is done in my other world. The ceiling area is what I'm talking about. <sighs> but um, and that and that's really easy. Like, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> but like, I did a lot of this work a while back. Now, started a new job and been been busy. 
but I hope you got to got to enjoy this uh, nice little adventure I t have taken you on. What is this? Is it I? I didn't go down this area. Okay, cool. At least this is here. So, like, this is a cool design that I enjoyed right here. It's so dark down there now. Um, jeez. So, like, all this is lit up again. D did it save my... What's in here? Oh, okay. I don't remember everything anymore. It's like... I've been... been just trying to keep it together. Yeah, this is another side room. There's a room in there which you walk across to get back to the main area. Walk downstairs. I want to see if I built like if it's still down there. Like this uh that has a door frame now, by the way. The other one. There's the boat. I did fix that. That um when I switched over the resource pack. Apparently, I was using two different types of, I think, quartz or whatever. So, I went back to the boat and just completely fixed the, um, the stuff I used on it. So, it's all, like, you know, together it doesn't look like trash. And I actually filled the bottom in because I just left it be, like, let it be watered for, like, ever. And never did anything about it. So, that's done. And the other series, which I'll probably go to. Okay, good. So, I had this aquarium in here, too. And if anyone could tell me why on earth the fish always are, like, at the bottom. And if there's a way to bring them back up, like, that would be amazing. Because I am so, like, when I come, like, the whole point of wanting to have this is so you could see them swimming around up here. And around all these things. I thought it would be, like, super duper neat. Well, guess what they do not do. They do not swim at all. They're always on the floor, digging themselves deeper into the sand, and I can't do anything about it. And so I'm just like, okay, well, well, I guess that's just how that's going to be. Anyways, getting back to this room, that's what it looks like. So if you haven't, like, if you haven't seen what it looked like before all this, I'm pretty sure I gave a nice little tour of the house um, prior to this start of this area like i know this is new i know you guys haven't seen this area because this was something i was proud of quite a bit i just haven't shown it off but like i just like this entryway it makes it look just so neat i think and um probably if not this weekend next weekend i will have the other um other minecraft world up back on my phone so I could just display it. I'll probably have to turn off. What I need to do probably is just completely make it where I can't destroy my crap. Invite. How can I do it to myself? I need, I need to eat myself on this one. Um. Just go here. Just go custom. It's fine. So I can build, use doors, open containers, attack, attack. Yep, yep. I just don't want to mine. That's all. Everything else I can do. I shouldn't be able to destroy you. Gosh darn it. Okay, maybe I can. So let's take off the build. Now can I destroy you? What? Why? I should not have this ability. Okay. Well, never mind then. That was all for nothing. Just gonna go back to operator then. Don't mind me. Um. Oh, and these little plants just look amazing, by the way. I enjoyed how these plants looked. The dome and all that. So yeah, next... Next uh, time, I'll make sure that you guys get to see more. So until then, if you made it this far, thank you. And uh, have a good day. Bye.